Hey everyone, welcome in. My name's Andy. My pronouns are they, them, and I go by Cross Stitcher here on YouTube and Instagram and Twitch. So again, welcome in to everyone. I've gotten so many new subscribers and I just want to thank everyone, anyone who's coming in who is new. I hope you enjoy what you see. Anyone coming back, welcome to the chaos. Today is a floss tube extra and I am going to be talking about my plans for mania. I've never done mania before. However, I am in the Phantom Cinching Central group on Facebook and they have different options that you can choose for the month of May for new starts and I chose the biggest, the highest option, obviously 24 new starts in 24 days. They don't have to be consecutive, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So today I'm going to show you, I have, oh, I have my mania bin and I'm going to show you everything I have planned to start in May. So let's get to it. I do also have a couple treasures to show you that I'll show you at the end. Uh, so let's just get started. There are 24 here. I do have my notebook with all of my things listed out that I will check off. I think how, it, again, I've never done this before. And um, this is my first time being in the group, but I think they uh, give how many stitches you need to do on a project. So I will write that down. When I find out what that is, I'll write that down next to it and then cross it off. So that's that. <laughs> a lot of these are paper charts. Some are digital and I will show them to you on markup. Oh, speaking of markup, uh, I found out this morning that if you use markup XP, the his, excuse me highest number of patterns you can have is 150. Ask me how I know. They are limiting my hoard. How rude of them. But yeah, you can only have 150 patterns in markup. I'm sure it's probably listed somewhere in the facts or something, but I don't read any of that ever. So, okay, let's get to let's get to mania. The first one I'm going to start, well, not necessarily the first one. These are just the order I put them in the bin. I think it's mostly alphabetical, but there's probably some that aren't quite right cuz I added them later. So, the first one I have in my bin is As Above, So Below by Night Spirit Studio, and I'm going to do it on 14 Cloud Plain Black Ada. And this is what it will look like. This is the, is this a Patreon? I think this was a Patreon pattern. It's loading. This one takes it's such a small pattern, but it takes a while to load, and I don't understand why. But anyway, this is what it's going to be. I believe this was a, like I said, Patreon Patreon pattern. And so if you are in Night Spirits Patreon, that's where I got it from. So that will be one of the May starts. I love this piece. It's going to go in our foyer. Our Victorian goth foyer. Now, where to put these so I can... You know what? I'm just going to put them on my step stool there. Or my footstool. Okay, next is also by Night Spirit Studio. I only have this in black and white. This was also a Patreon pattern. And it's called Beware of Dog. And it is basically black. So what you're seeing is, is pretty much what it's going to look like. And I believe this was, oh gosh, August. That was a long time ago. 
There was a description that she put up from where she got it, but I or got the idea for it for the pattern, but I don't remember. And I'm gonna do it on 14 count red Ada. I have a lot of it. I'm not gonna need that all of it for that, obviously. But I just put the whole thing in there because I didn't feel like <laughs> I didn't feel like measuring and cutting. Okay, the next one is a kit. And it is Black Kitty by Design Works. I'm not a cat person, but I am a Halloween person. And I, of all, I love black cats. So I love black cats. I think mostly because they just get such a bad rap, you know, and they're, there's no, they're just cats. But they get such a bad rap and I I don't like that so I love black cats uh, and I just love the psychedelic colors in this so I'm gonna start that I'm just gonna be using whatever came in the kit it's black Ada and oh gosh hold on it's black Ada and all those colors look at that that's gonna be so gorgeous I honestly can't wait to start this one I've been thinking about it for a while and didn't start it because I you know I mean do I really need to start it and then this happened so uh carved some of the oh just so you know if you've watched some of my previous floss tubes some of these was it too floss tube my second floss tube maybe I think I did patterns that I had kitted up and showed you 12 patterns I had kitted up so if you watch that some of these are you're going to see again some of these those are in here um so this was one of those patterns this is going to be carved mirrors this is by stitchy princess black on Etsy she's a Ukrainian designer and she did last year she did <clears throat> a thing it was only available for a few days this is what it's going to look like it was only available for a few days and you purchased uh basically like a so what happened was people wanted to because she still is in ukraine and people wanted to donate money to her to help and she didn't want to just take people's money she wanted to give something back to them so you could purchase a, a bundle essentially and then throughout the 20 year of this year 2024 she releases patterns to those people who purchased that and so they're only available to whoever purchased that bundle so this is one of those patterns so it's not available to the public and I just love this piece and I'm going to be stitching it on, it's a linen. I can't tell you, I don't remember. I don't remember, it's green, it's not showing up green. There it sort of is. It's a. It's like a forest green, and I thought the golds for the mirrors would really pop on here. I think it's gonna look really nice. I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember what the name of it is. I don't even know the count, probably a, 32 maybe but that's what I'm going to do it on okay next up is one that you have seen before probably it is coffee dragon the artwork is by Stanley Morrison and it's charted by pain free crafts this is what it's going to look like There is a series of three of these dragons. There's a coffee, a hot chocolate, and a tea. Coffee and the hot chocolate are in this bin, and tea I'm going to start before then. I had asked in that pre in that video which one I should start first, and oh, tea was the winner. So I'm going to start. So that's not in this bin. But that's what it's going to look like. And I'm doing it, or going to do it, on just this cream of some sort that I got from somewhere I don't know 
plain cream. Nothing fancy for that one. Okay. Next is a chart by Witchy Stitcher. It is Coven Sweet Coven. I'm going to do it uh, on 28 Count Huntress by Picture This Plus. It's just a scrap I had done. I had done the bat by Bad Stitch that I finished a couple weeks ago on that fabric. So I had a set left over. Again, I only have it in black and white. My printer doesn't print in color. But that's essentially what it's going to look like by Witchy Stitcher. This again is going to go in our foyer. And this is the fabric I'm going to do it on. It's a linen, 28 count linen. I don't know if I said that. I'm going to do it two over two. A lot of these are, almost all of these are patterns I have had for quite a while and just never started. So this one is not a new one or not an old one. <laughs> this is Falling Leaves by Autumn Lane Stitchery and it's Falling Leaves and Coffee Please. Love fall and I love coffee. So what could be better? I did get the silk pack. Um, the Bestitch Me silk pack. Hold on, I'm running out of space. So I will be using the called for silks. And I am going to be doing it on Sunstone. 36 count linen by Be Stitch Me. So I think that's gonna look lovely. I'm, I'm kind of really excited to, I usually don't get the thread packs, um, but I've never used Be Stitch Me silk. I have used Be Stitch Me fabric. I love their fabric. So I just wanted to try it. So we're gonna give that a go. Next is a two-in-one. This is one I showed before. This is Good Witch, Bad Witch by Autumn. <laughs> I just dropped the pattern. By Autumn Lane Stitchery. So I'm going to stitch both of these. So this counts as two different patterns. The inside, the top witch, the good witch is yellow. And the bad witch is green. And I think I'm going to switch both of them to be a purple. And I'm doing them both on, what is this, Wicked by Be Stitch Me, speaking of Be Stitch Me, by Be Stitch Me, uh, th uh, 36 count linen, and I'm going to do two over two. I think that's pretty true together. It's less aqua in person. It's more green. It's more lime green. It's come itch. Oh, there we go. That's more what it's like. True to color. A little bit. A little bit better. So I'm going to do it on both of them. I'm going to do on that. Okay. Next up. is a Nora Corbett. It is Gothic House. Focus. There we go. I have a thing for houses. <laughs> I have a thing for houses and Gothic houses and of various styles. So this is my first Nora Corbett house. I'm very excited. I'm doing it on the called for, this is Sapphire Linen. And I got it off a of one, two, three stitch. I think it's the called for. And then I did get the 
I so just said I normally don't get the thread packs, but for Nora Corbett's Mirabilia's uh, Bella's, I do get the thread and bead packs. So I did get the, I did like, get that for the Gothic House. Next is the hot chocolate. Now, the last time I showed this, I had a red fabric from a reddish fabric. It was called Dolly from a Wicked Stepmother. And I have since changed my mind, and I will explain in a second. This is the hot chocolate dragon. And originally, like I said, I had a fabric in stash that, so, that matched this. And so I was going to use that because in all these dragons, the background is not stitched. So again, this is uh, artwork is by Stanley Morrison and it's charted by Pain Free Crafts. And this is the hot chocolate. And I had, the fabric was supposed to be 22 count, but, er, Basically, I, it wasn't quite, it was a little bit bigger. It was uh, bigger. It was more like a 19 or a 18-ish count. And it was an odd size because it was a one-off. Like they just had that extra. And <clears throat> with it being a bit bigger... It would have fit, but it would have been tight, and I was too worried about it. So I'm just going to do it on this kind of brownish tan Ada, which I think will still look really nice. Let me get the, let me get this back out again, right? I think it's still going to look really nice. Oh, goodness. Let's put the fabric in front so you can sort of see. But um, not originally what I had planned, but that's okay. It's still going to look freaking awesome. So that's that one. Next up is a full coverage. And this is going to, it is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And again, I've, get, I've gone over my stance on that. This is a chart I've had for a while. So even though it's a new start, it, it was not a new purchase. And it is in the Garden of the Moon. Make sure I got that correct. In the Garden Gardens of the Moon by Stephanie Puyman La. And this really should come as no surprise to anyone that I would want to stitch this <laughs> because of the bird, the raven, crow, whatever you want to. I love the colors, especially on the corners for those gold color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. As far as I know, Stephanie Puyman Law is only available through Hade. So it's one of those things. If you want to, same with Randall Spangler. I think maybe Amy Stewart. There's, there's a few that are only available through Hade, few artists. So it's kind of one of those things. If you want to get anything from them, you have to get it through Hade. So it's, you know, it is what it is. But again, I've had this chart for a while. And because of because of the flower, which is whites, creams, I didn't want to stitch that on white. I'm not about the white on white. So I did get, um, which I thought is going to go very well. It's a 25 count. Vintage Smoky White Lugana, which is slightly modeled, and I felt like those stitches would 
be a slightly easier to stitch on this. So that's what I'm going to stitch it on. And I will be doing one over one full cross like I do with all my full coverages. Okay, next is Magic Book by, oh goodness, Le Petit Qua. This is I keep in my fancy dancy bin along with Mira's, Bella's, because it's, it's fancy dancy. <clears throat> and I'm going to stitch it on 18 count opalescent 802 over one or whatever it calls for because there are some uh, half stitches and whatnot on Oil Stray by Chromatic Alchemy. And I love that. I've had this for ages and couldn't decide what to put on it. And this is gonna be perfect. Okay, I need to, I think, put some of these back in my bin. So bear with me a second because I am getting I'm getting too big of a pile and it's going to fall off my step stool or my footstool and I don't want that to happen. Okay. Okay. Next is one you've seen before. This is Midwinter Mushroom. By Noctiflora Designs. Let me get it up for you. So it is gonna look like this. It's it's a mushroom jackalope, sort of, and I love it. It's so cute. And I'm going to stitch it on. Maelstrom, 18 count Ada by Chromatic Alchemy. It's going to look so good on there. Why don't I just put them back as I go? I know what I'm doing, y'all. I'm professional at this. Absolutely. Okay. Next one is <laughs> New Year Dragon. This is charted by Pain Free Crafts. Let me get it up for you. <clears throat> Again, I, I'm learning that I have a thing for peppermint. This is charted by Pain Free Crafts. Look at the dragon with the pepper. I just love this. He's so cute. And I don't know who who's the artwork by. This is uh artwork is by Alvia Al Alcado. I probably butchered that, but I did my best. And I'm just gonna do him on a mushroom. This is a 28 count Lugana. Okay, next is Pride Tea. This is a pattern by Bad Stitch. I'm 
I mean, it's pride and it's bats. How could you? What's not to love? And I'm going to do it on a opalescent 28 casual linen. White. can't wait to start that one, honestly. Okay, this next one I've had forever. And I could not decide what to stitch her on. And I kept going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. This is Raven Queen by Mirabilia, one I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, have seen. Come on, focus. Focus! It doesn't want to focus. Focus, come on. There we go. So that's what she will look like. This was my first Mirabilia purchase and I still have her. I, like I said, I couldn't decide on the fabric and I eventually decided to do her on Cro, oh gosh, I'm going to butcher this name. Cro, 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 Osmia, Crocosmia, which was an August exclusive by River Hut Designs, and it is a 28 count even weave. So I'm going to stitch her on that. And I think that is going to look gorgeous. She's going to pop off of there. I finally decided. It took me way too long. But. You know, I wanted her to be right. Well, I shouldn't say right. Right is a bad word. <laughs> I wanted her to be what I wanted and didn't want to settle for anything. I don't like to use the term right. And I, I'm going to go off on a little tangent here. I can feel it. I'm going to go off on a crow rant. Zena, stop looking your paws. Zena's my doggo and she licks her paws. Don't look at me like that. I, I, saw, I saw you. Um, I've seen a lot of people, I, I've been cross-stitching for probably about 30 years. I started when I was a child and I'm self-taught. I don't do things the way a lot of people do them and it's fine. And, but I've, I've noticed a lot of people say, oh, what's the right way to do this? And I don't like that word. I don't like that word because there's no right way. It's whatever works for you, right? Try different things, try different combinations of things and find what's the best for you. And so I don't want to say I wanted her to be right. I want to say I wanted her to be right for me. That's, that's the better way to say that. That wasn't as bad of a pro rant as it could have been. The next one is Spooky Teapot. By Tiny Modernist. It's gonna look like that. Which again, should come as no surprise to any of you who might be seeing this for the first time that I would wanna stitch this. This is one I have shown before. And I'm going to stitch it on Amethyst Purples by River Hut Design. And it is a 32 count Murano. It's purple. It's kind of showing up pinker. There we go. That's sort of better. Purples, as I'm sure all of you know, are quite difficult to show up. To get to show up. Excuse me. Okay. The next one has two, two and one. I've had this book for forever. Yeah, creepy cross stitch. Again, it should come as no surprise that I own this. I am going to do two patterns from here on just black Ada, which I had already started something else on and decided I didn't like it, so I'm going to frog that. But 
I'm going to do Springtime in the Graveyard, which is on page 30. Nope. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Nice, cute, adorable one. Going to go in the foyer. And then the next one is Bell Jar. Like I said, I've had this book for years and I have not stitched anything on here or in here. Ooh, can I even show you? This? Is there a, ooh. I don't know if there's one, ooh, that's a trick. I have, I have um, arachnophobia and there's one pattern in here that's a very realistic tarantula and every time I flick, flick past it I kind of like I don't know if there's a picture that I can show you that's not the pattern of this there's a little tiny one that isn't the full pattern but it's 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 a bell jar and this is the inside of the jar but the pattern is bigger but I'm going to stitch that one so there's two in that book that I'm going to do Then I'm going to stitch tea with milk, which do I even have a picture of this? I've, I'm going to stitch it on here. It's a blue. It's blue. And I chose a blue because the teacup is blue. This is by Cute Patterns by Maria. Oh my goodness, I thought I had a picture of this. Let me see if I have it in my files. T. T with milk. I have a, I do have a picture of it in my files. So this is by Q Patterns by Maria on Etsy. Her name is Maria Bravko. She is a Ukrainian designer. This is going to be tea with milk. And this is what it is going to look like. So I chose the blue. Maybe I should re-choose that. I, for some reason, thought it was the other way around and that it was a white teacup with blue flat, like blue on the, where the white is. I thought it was reversed. Basically, I thought it was a white teacup with blue flowers. So reversed and I don't know if that's gonna show up I might need to just I have some more neutral I might just do it on a neutral this is one that might not you might not think I would choose I don't know I, it just reminds me of fall and I love it a warm cozy fall afternoon sitting down with a cup of tea and some stitching and that's what it reminds me of but go check out cute patterns by maria on etsy wonderful wonderful patterns so it's a good thing i pulled that out because i'm going to change the fabric for that actually i'm going to keep that out so i remember to do that we're getting towards the end y'all the next one is the sorceress By Joan Elliott Designs. This is in my fancy dancy bin as well. Well, it will be when it's done, and I'm going to do it on 28 count light. Or sorry, excuse me, that's wrong. 100% wrong. 32 count Lugata in the color lilac, which looks gray, but it's more purpley in person. And I did get the beads. And I'm using going to use Sullivan threads for this one because they're a bit cheaper. So I did get all the threads. I'm slowly converting to, I'm slowly converting from DNC to Sullivan's. So. Unfiltered Poison is next. 
and oops, oh, I can't get it out. It is by Shannon Christine Designs. And I'm going to stitch it on a leftover piece of Murano from River Hut Designs. It's 32 count. I used it for a witchy stitcher piece that is hanging up downstairs and there's enough that I can do this little guy on here. So that's what I'm going to use for unfiltered poison. And then the last one is Wicked Witchcraft by Autumn Lane Citry. And I'm going to do it on this piece of even weave. I believe. I don't remember. I don't remember where this is from. And I think I figured it out the other day and now I can't remember. I, it's on Etsy. And I buy from them a lot and I can't remember them. I'll try to remember and put it in the thing. Or at least get it written down so when I start it and show you. I know what it is. So those are all my 24 starts for May. I'm very excited. Uh, this is the 17th of April, so it's coming up soon. And I think the really the thing that's going to be difficult for me is not starting them before May, which is why they're in their own separate bin. So I don't see them. I mean, I see them, but they're in their own separate bin. So when I go to pull projects, I'm not tempted to pull any of them. The next thing, I, uh, one of my treasures I want to show you is it came the other day. It came right after I filmed my floss tube, number three, and I want to show you I got a bag, and I'm going to tag her below, the Crow River Stitcher. She's new to stitching. She's new to floss tube like me, but it's such a delight to watch. I... She's tried so many things already. She's dyed her, her own fabric, which I have yet to do. And I've been stitching for 30 years. She's beaded. She's done different kinds of fabric. Linen, Ada, even weave, different types of design. Just so many. She's tried so many things already. And it's such a joy to watch her. And she, she does so. And she makes project bags. She makes one-off project bags that um she does machine embroidery for some of them some of them she finds and upcycles the center from let's say you know pillowcase or something that she will upcycle this was a machine embroidery one uh that i found and i went over to her etsy site and saw this and had to purchase it could not could not it was just so me um, but they are, like I said, one-offs. So what you see is just the, the one that she'll make of that. So if you like one, please get it because it won't be there. Uh, I think she, she sold a lot of them. I think she, there's only, last time I checked, there were only two left in there. So I don't know what it is now. But her Etsy shop is She's So Sassy. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. This was so me, and as soon as I saw it, I had to get it. Had to get it. She does gr such great work. The inside, again, I'll tag her below so you can go find her and find her Etsy. But the inside is this gorgeous purple, which looks pink, but it's purple, I promise. Um, and I'm going to use it for my which I haven't started yet. I said I was going to start the other day, and then I didn't, for my Rose Con piece from Paintry Crafts, the Cozy Winter Book Nook, which I showed you the other day, but I'll show it again because, you know, love it. 
So that's what's going to go in here. And there's a lot of purples and blues in that pattern. So it's going to match. I mean, it's not Halloween, but it's going to match the colors. So this is the project that's going in there. And I'm excited. So that's my bag treasure. Then I do have some <laughs> treasures that I purchased, which uh, is how I found out that you can only have 150 patterns in markup. There was a sale on, there is a sale. I think it's still going on. So if you like any of the Cross Stitch Studio patterns, and you have some in your wish list or like haven't purchased some that you were thinking about, go check them out. There is a sale going on at the moment. So I purchased a few of their patterns. This is called artwork is by Momart and it is charted by the cross stitch studio and it is, what is it called? Lunar irises. I'm not a flower person, but I love, I loved this piece. The water in the back. Oh my goodness. The water in the background. The little waterfall, the moonlight, how everything comes off the, oh, love it. That was one. The next one is Zelda. And it's not the Zelda you're thinking of. Because we all know what you're thinking of. Artwork is by Svetlana. Again, charted by the Cross Stitch Studio. And this is Zelda. Again, if you've watched any of my floss tubes, which there aren't many, but if you've watched any of them, you'll know that I love vintage things, vintage styles. So I got her. The next one is Parfum de Roses, which is going to be for the bathroom. Again, we talked about last time, we talked about the bathroom situation. Artwork is by Sasha and charted by the Cross Stitch Studio. Again, it has that vintage feel. The pink, our bathroom is going to be, or is a pink 70s vintage gothic. It's a mix of vintage and 70s. They're two separate things and goth. I don't know, it's a thing. But I got that. <clears throat> this one is London Calling. It is. I uh, uh, doesn't give the. I think it must just be a piece you can. It's licensed by Dreams Time. Try to buy the Cross Stitch Studio. And it's the London. There we go. I love this. I, I don't know. I just loved it. And the last one I got, the last treasure I got from the Cross Stitch Studio. There's, there's others. Trust me. Uh, chartered by the Cross Stitch Studio, artist is Chris Biglow. And I got the crop number two version of Flowers and Flyers. I love the colors in this. They're just so vibrant. And I love pollinators. That's my vision of the perfect garden right there is just nothing but flowers and pollinators. So those are all my cross stitch studio. Again, they're having a 50% off sale. So if you like that, go over there and get some patterns. 
if you if you want then i got four more treasures from tilton crafts the first one is weeping angels weeping angel Does it give you the artist on here? I might have to get the artist separately. Oh, uh, Shelly Lee. No, excuse me. That's who designed it. It's a stock image. Uh, charted by Tilton Crafts, Weeping Angel. love this it's so oh, moody and gorgeous and obviously has the doctor who reference the next is gothic intrigue <clears throat> artwork is by curve design and tilt, charted by tilting crafts this is just so me and i love it and i want to stitch it i want to i want to stitch all of these things otherwise i wouldn't buy them am i going to no because i'm gonna die first but you know we can pretend this next one is basically my dream house. If you ask me what my dream house is or would be, it's this. This is Dark Gothic Matter. Artwork is by Bijou Bay. And it is started by, <clears throat> excuse me, Tilton Crafts. I think it is a full coverage, but I don't think I'm going to do it as a full coverage. I think I'm going to do take all the white background and stitch it on a, a different fabric, a moody-ish fabric, and leave out the white background. But this is my dream house. If, if, if anyone wants to know what my dream house was, be, would be, it's this. Am I ever going to live in it? No, absolutely not. And then the last treasure I have is, again, chartered by Tilton Crafts. It is Notre Dame. And the artwork is Andrea Shilton. So I've never been to France. I've never been to Notre Dame. However, there's something about this that I've always loved the building that I have always loved and been drawn to just the, the history of it. And I will tell you that when it burned, I cried. I legitimately was in, just had the TV on the news on and just watched it burn and cried. So I want to stitch this because of that remembrance of that um those are all my treasures so I will be back on Monday next Monday the whatever that is 27th of April with what I worked on for this week floss tube number four again thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed but you like what you see make sure you subscribe like the video, click the bell thing uh, so you get notified when I post new videos. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Uh, if you have any plans for May, whether they be new starts or not, feel free to share in the comments below. I know some people are trying to get finishes in May. Um, some people are just trying to work on all their whips and do a certain number of stitches for each whip. So whatever your May plans are, if you have any, feel free to share. I want to hear what, what y'all are doing, what y'all have planned. And um, yeah, happy stitching, and we'll see you next time.